हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज़ विक्रमजीत सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल एजुकेशन जस्ट आइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबाउट माउंटिंग माउंटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस इन लाइनेक्स सो विदाउट माउंटिंग यू नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस द कंटेंट ऑफ यूर सी डी यूर यू एस बी आई एम ओपनिंग जी एडिट so that i can write some document for you mounting is the important process to access the content of the cd or usb or any of storage devices storage devices without mounting you will not able to access the content of any cd usb or storage device mounting is must so so there, there is a command like mount slash dev slash cd rom and mnt i am going to show you the complete syntax so this is the syntax to write the command mount and going to elaborate the about mount command mount is the command to mount the cd slash dev is the path where all the device information are resides all the information about hardware like ram hard disk will always store in this slash dev and slash cd rom is the name of the cd rom cd rom is the name of device that you want to mount slash mnt is the mount point mount point is the path from where you can access the content of your cd so this is not much that you always you have to mount your cd or your storage device to slash mount you can mount it any directory like slash mnt slash test slash cd rom anything and i am going to show you with practical so mount is the command slash dev and cd rom here will be sr0 i will show you how it came and slash mnt is the mount point let's be lk sometime it is not possible or sometimes it may many difficult it may be difficult to find this letter name this is the cd rom name or your usb drive name so in this case i am using lsblk command lsblk command is very helpful to find drive letter name so in this case sr0 so that's why i write over here sr0 and mount point will be slash mnt so it is saying mount block device slash dev slash sr0 is right protected mounting read only now our device has been successfully mounted on slash mnt now let's see the content of slash mnt wow very good so all the content of this slash sr0 are in slash mnt here so this is the temporary mounting 
here if I restart my computer then all the configuration all the content of the slash mmt will go you can see like this reboot hyphen I'm going to restore the computer and once my computer comes up you will not able to see anything in slash mnt so it's restarting it will take some time because the configuration uh, configuration of my computer is not very high So this lsblk command will not work in rgl5 it will work in rgl6 or 7 and right now we are working on rgl6.4 and our system is about to come up so now login as a root password is red hat Okay, so here we can see ls slash mnt all the content has been gone because this was the temporary mounting. So now I am going to show you about the permanent mounting. Permanent mounting. For permanent mounting we have to edit FS tab file FS FS tab file resides under slash etc so this is the syntax Slash, v, uh, slash vim is the editor slash etc is the path slash fstb fstb is the file name so let's open our console so in this file come at last and we have to enter some configuration over here first of all we have to mount slash daves sl0 mnt now it's fine So now let's start the permanent mounting. In permanent mounting, first of all, we have to write the complete path of the drive, like sla slash dev slash sr0 is the CD-ROM, is the USB, is the storage device that you want to mount, and then the mount point. In my case, I mount my CD-ROM on slash mnt and in third column we have to mention the file system so right now we are using ISO 9660 file system you can get the information about ISO 9660 file system by giving the command mount in the last line you can see that slash dev sr0 on mnt type is iso 9660 is the file system iso 9660 remaining will be same 0 and 0 save and exit from file 
so I am going to restart the computer once again to check our permanent mounting is working fine or not so now let's try to reboot Friends, if you like my video, my tutorial, please like and subscribe my channel so that you can get new videos in your mailbox. So it's Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server 6.4. Okay, fine. Now let's check. Okay, login. Username root. Password will be Red Hat. Okay, now. As per the configuration, this time there should be some content in slash lsmnt. Let's see for that. Okay, fine. We are good. So right now, our permanent mount is working fine. And if you want to unmount your your storage device, then you can use the u mount command slash mnt. It will release the slash mnt directory. Now you will not able to see anything in slash mnt like this. Okay, fine. So this was the mounting in this tutorial. I show you how you can mount, how you can use lsblk command, how you can use permanent mounting, how you can unmount the storage device. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.